Hey everybody, we're here with another game with xCloud. Earlier this week, Rainbow Six Siege came out on Game Pass, and it's also on xCloud. Um, so we're going to check that out. Again, I've tried playing this on my tablet, and it was a really bad experience. My tablet is 2.4 gigahertz, which is really the, diff the difference between um, <clears throat> better penetration of walls and distance, but lower kind of bitrate. But it's it, it, it's weird. I I'm I have this conspiracy that they're artificially adding latency to 2.4 gigahertz kind of connections because literally in the same room you're not even going to notice the difference. It's like not even possible. But that's here not here. Again, we're using the emulator BlueStacks. Uh, I have an Xbox One controller. If you want to know how this works, I've got a video up there. We're gonna hit play and see how this goes. Now, we're just going to do a terrorist hunt <clears> The <throat> feel how it is. I played it on mobile for like a fraction of a second before I quit out. And it was actually pretty fine. I was actually really impressed by the movement. It actually felt a lot better. Uh, I think in some of my older videos of kind of blue stacks with xCloud, some people were like, yeah, there's a little bit of latency, but I feel like that's not due to the to the emulation, but more due to, hey, this is there's there is lag here. From me going to the server and then the server, you know, going to the other server. I think one of the big things when Stadia came out uh, was like how people were talking about um, like, hey, multiplayer games can change because you're you're connecting to a server and that server is directly interfacing, you know, the direct interface. Thing. But anyways, um, this is a little bit weird too, because technically you connect to an Azure server and then connecting to a uh, Rainbow Six server. Though, the pings are actually really low. So I got the interface in the bottom left here. It's telling me the frame rate and um, my ping. I do have to say, xCloud games do load faster than even Xbox One X games. This a lot of the games I have kind of launched on on x cloud have just launched a lot faster destiny is noticeable i wonder if there's like a cache um that needs to be cleansed on the xbox and xbox one x uh even my original xbox one loaded destiny significantly faster than my xbox one x uh though i recently like reformatted my xbox one um yeah so this is just going to be, if, if you don't have De uh, Rainbow Six Siege, this is Rainbow Six Siege Deluxe, which includes, you know, the original operators, which you have to unlock, and then uh, Season 1 and 2 operators. It is on sale, too, and then it also you get a bonus for having Game Pass, which is kind of cool. I feel like this is a weird game to have on Game Pass. I, I like, who is this for? Um, I'm curious of how they will kind of... I don't know. Like, it's also really weird that it's on xCloud. Not all games on Game Pass are on xCloud. So we're just going to hop into a quick match. No, fuck, not, not a quick match. A um, training ground. Um, we'll, be, we'll queue up for a minute, and if we can't get one, we will uh, try a solo. But yeah, this is such an interesting concept of, like, hey... We're, we're streaming a game online that has online. It's This game was also on PlayStation Now, or, that was added to PlayStation Now earlier, which is also really good, weird. And I'm just curious of like, I feel like this game would be a perfect example of how a shooter would be on online. Like there, it, it's a fast rate game. You need to have precision to win. Like, you know, the, people will talk about the, the tick raid and all that shit when it comes to, like, Rainbow Six Siege. Though I'm not at the level of Valorant or Counter-Strike, it, it's pretty high up there. There's, like, a big, huge difference between that and, like, something like Gears or even Halo. Um, so I'm curious of just kind of performance, response times, and all that stuff. Like, nobody talks about PlayStation Now, but it's... PlayStation Now is kind of the same as, as um, xCloud in a way, but, like, just... I mean, I don't even know if even Sony even talks about it, PlayStation Now. Like, the last thing I heard about PlayStation Now was, like, hey, uh, Sony and Microsoft formed a deal about cloud computing. I'm like, what the fuck? It's so weird. So we're just going to do a lone wolf here. Look at all that frame rate. What, 
120. So again, I, I the the stream of XCloud is still 720p at 60 FPS, which is, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, we'll do no vote, and then um, we'll just do random. Now, uh, also, there is no Ubisoft app on here, so if you want to do your weekly challenges or finish your weekly challenges or accept weekly challenges, you can't do that. Of course, you can use an app for that. Oh, God, this is grimy. So the movement controls actually feels really good. Yeah. It, there, There is lag, though. You can notice it. Like, I, 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 uh, who, I, it's just so weird. Cause, cause you're also like, oh Jesus, there we go. Oh Jesus, Jesus. There's like no auto aim in these games too, but like it's it runs it's it is smooth in terms of just like the video feed. It is a little bit choppy. Yeah. Up four eliminated all friends. Let's take it up to the big leagues. Let's do a quick uh, quick match. out of that but yeah it's just i don't know like not all games are on xcloud which is like okay i can understand that they just recently just announced that um they just said gotta put keep it on there they just recently announced a, a bunch of games that are gonna have like gamepad support on um on what do you call it on um on mobile so like games like dungeon defender or for Minecraft Dungeons also has like a UI so you can play it without a controller and they've added that to like a couple other games like notably Tell Me Why which I think is a great um, a great game to have that and then also like Dead Souls I'm like holy shit I gotta check that out oh wow load times relatively fast too like that's I think I would really like somebody to do a video on like load times because that was that was really fast I guess like because they probably have SSDs tied to the tied to the um, to the system, yeah. Because these are probably custom built Xboxes. Secure the bombs. Ooh, I have the shotgun. This is a bad thing. This is a bad idea. Oh yeah, this is this is like no one should be playing this. No one should be playing this game like this. No one should be playing this game like this. This is just this is just like running through quicksand. Let me just do this. Okay, and then put this baby right here. Cool. That's. I think they need to get rid of team, team killing in this game. Hmm. Let's do it right there. Wait. Does that wait work? Oh shit. You can hear them right there. Yeah. Cool. That's cool. Oh, I got my red dots up too. This is gonna be fun.
Holy shit, that was bad. That was bad. One friendly remaining. Jesus Christ, dude. This is great. I think this is a perfect example of why a uh, quick match is horrible on, on Rainbow Six Siege. They should do a better job at it. Mission failed. All friendlies were eliminated. Okay, let's do a random again. Did they rework him? I thought they reworked him. When is that rework? Let's do proxy. Actually, I don't like want to do Chachanka. Yeah, Frost. Let's see here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Let's at least get to 1.5. But yeah, I'm like, I think the takeaway of a lot of the xCloud too is that it's just, it loads really fucking fast. But it would be nice to, like, some better kind of display of, like, how, what is my ping to the to the xCloud server? What is what is accessible to, hey, this, this is fine kind of network? Because, again, I've talked about 2.4 gigahertz. Or 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. The thing is, is that like when they're in the same room, it doesn't matter. The bomb. When when they're in different rooms, 2.4 gigahertz is going to be better because it's just penetration and shit. And technically, both those are faster than 4G. Like, or at least I should say 4G in America. Um, so it's just it's it's really weird. Like it would be nice to be press a button and say, "Okay, you're in, you're you're uh, you're fast enough or something." I think Stadia does that. Of course, Stadia works perfectly fine. Nobody bitches about Stadia's like performance and all that. Mainly of just the selection of games. It's just another platform that you have to spend money in, and kind of Google hasn't been good with a lot of the. Lot of the kind of like, hey, this this is. Oh god. Oh god. This is swimmy as fuck. This is bad. Like I I just I just I don't like. I don't. Some I'm so curious about X Cloud. Like a game like this would be, is really bad on xCloud. No one should be playing this game on xCloud. Oh my god. Oh hello, hello. Oh, Jesus, yeah. Like, it's just so swimmy. It's so swimmy. Like, you feel like you're just, like, fucking swimming through fucking water. Like, I just... One out four remaining. I can't believe we're winning this. Wow. I, I'm so... I'm so I'm so confused. I'm so fucking confused. Like the video is fine. Like everything looks fine. Like yeah, it's 720p on this 1440p monitor, so technically it would be like a quarter of this video. But it like it's just it's so laggy. No. We're going to be we're going to fuck it.
so fucking weird. Oh, I wonder if I hit what this is. No. Oh, shit. Never mind. Wrong buttons. That was really fast. Also, in this game, I've noticed, um, compared to other games, it, like, save your... In they might have changed it. I should look into it. But it saves an instance for a little bit. So, if you quit at a X Cloud, it doesn't... It seems to... At least for this game, I've noticed, it doesn't instantly shut down the game. Or shut down the instance. So, you're... It's left there for, like, the maybe even a minute. Oh, so, so, it is kind of nice that... You could switch to um, to different like you know devices, or if you get disconnected, I guess I guess that's probably a reason why they changed that. But yeah, I, I, I'm curious of what this game looks like on PlayStation now too, because that was like actually a big thing too. Like it's just it's so fucking weird. Ten seconds to insert. Op four has located a bomb. Be ready for assault. Five seconds to insertion. Oh, okay. We don't get this, I guess. Op four has located a bomb. Get ready to engage. Jesus Christ, this is. Okay, here we go, boys. Right fucking below you, you dumb fuck! doing Any last words You are screwed fucking muppet come here I dare you Oh my god these guys are so bad Reloading, reloading. Holy fuck, dude. It's holy shit. Douf. Wow, I can't. Oh my god, that was fucking hilarious. That was. New series where I play Clash and only play on xCloud. Um, yeah, don't play Rainbow Six Siege on xCloud. Like. I've had good experiences with xCloud, like Dead Cells on xCloud was really actually pretty good. Like, it was pretty good. Like, I would recommend checking it out if you're, like, wanting to play a daily and you're not there. That's cool. But playing a game like this? No, don't do that. This is a horrible, horrible idea. You should not do this. Um, but anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.